Hello and welcome to Building Modern APIs with RESTful. My name is Mateo and in this video we are going to continue building our resources using the RESTful module. So if you remember the last time, sorry, the last time that uh, we, we were here, we were creating this resource uh, where we configured it with the annotation and then we extended the base class which provides uh, a lot of the functionality that we will need for nodes um, and entities in general uh, and then we created this class but this is just exposing and let me remind you this is just exposing our ID label and a link to itself so this may not be the, the most useful thing that we want because if we remember, we want to to get the label name, which is here, but uh, this is uh, getting a key that uh, we don't really want. The bands, the individual artists, and the history. So, in order to, to do that, uh, we're going to have to override a method, an important method. This uh, is going to be one of the methods that you that you override all the time and it's public public fields so go ahead and use if you want PHP storm to do that I'm going to uh, set here nice doc block that inherits the documentation from from the parent and by default uh, it's gonna want to return the contents of public fields on the parent and this will lead to to this to getting the the ID the label and the self uh, which is what we were seeing there so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna say that I'm going to call this public fields and I'm gonna return Oops. public fields all right so in the middle we're gonna have to do something here so the first thing that I want to do is I don't want this to be called label I want I want it to be called name so I put a comment there and public fields name equal public fields label and then I'm gonna set public fields label all right I'm gonna go refresh here and there we go it's called name all right this first part was easy and now I'm gonna ex Oops, expose label history I'm gonna probably stop doing all these comments because it's gonna be very boring to you watching me type but you should put comments in your code so for this I'm going to go to the record label fields page because I don't remember the name of the, of the field alright uh, yeah so this is uh, the body field our history is stored in the body field so what we're going to do is uh, public fields history equals and uh, then we're going in order to output the history public public key sorry so this is the public key and this is the contents of the field so we want to have uh, another one called history underneath name and we want it to have the contents of the body field so to do that we set public fields history and then we say property equals body and uh, that's almost all it takes so we're gonna try and see what that produces uh, 
All right, uh, we are seeing that since this is a long format text field, it's going to give us the value summary format, save value, save summary, etc. So um, in this particular case, what we want is just the value. So uh, there is another key that you can use, sorry, another configuration in your field that you can use. This is called sub property. And we want the value out of it. Refresh and voila, there you go. Um, so that's uh, that's it for uh, for the history, except for the the fact that uh, and first let me format. Let me show you how you can select any of those, right? Uh, so you can set it to format, and it says that it's filter HTML. So okay. Let me put it back to, to value. So for every field, you can apply something that's called process callbacks, right? And a process callback is uh, just a function that's going to get applied to the, to the output of the field. So right now, the output is, uh, refresh this, is this, but we don't really want this. HTML tags, do we? So for that, what I'm going to do is to pass a process callback. So to do that, you do process callbacks. You can apply more than one, so that's why this is an array. And then you're gonna have to pass in the, the name of the callback, or actually a PHP callable. So it could be an array that contains a class and a method, etc. So in this case, it's strip, oops, strip tags. Voila, these tags are gone because you're using this uh, process callback. So this is going to be very useful. Um, probably you're going to have things like, um, let me put this like that. Uh, array this and uh, name of the of a method that that it takes mm, like for instance um, I don't know uh, replace t and this method then you declare this helper function uh, re this t by t and it gets you know that it's a string contents of the field and it returns a string as well all right so Uh, we called this replace t and it takes the value and you do replace um, oh I always forget do I need this or not I guess I don't maybe I do I don't know uh, let's see see replacement is a t and the subject is value and I have to return this all right let's see if I got that correct um, yeah as you can see uh, this is very stupid but uh, you you can you can use these for more interesting things uh, because this is just text so uh, I guess that you can do whatever you want. So uh, another way of doing this would be since we are not really using this, uh, sorry, the the variable this inside of replace t, we could make this static method and pass in the full name of the class. I have it here, so it's very useful. 
and then it's going to be a little bit oops, public static function and it's going to be a little bit better so uh, yeah basically we're passing the full qualified class and then the name of the method and uh, refreshing yeah makes the same thing cool uh, so this is how you expose a text field and now quickly I'm going to uh, just expose the rest of the um, of the fields uh, being the bands and the individual artists so I'm gonna go here and it's field manage bands and field manage artists right Mm -hmm. in my public fields uh, I'm gonna say oops public fields bands equals array the property field and a bands and an artist is gonna be field manager artists uh, and that should be it and then I'm gonna remove this because uh, this replace T is stupid uh, and put this and also I'm gonna remove this as well all right so um, this is what we have for our resource mm -hmm. going to come back here refresh and you see that uh, we no longer have that problem where uh, we wanted this to be an array but it got a uh, comma separated string and we already have this so nets on is going to be uh, connecting this with the person endpoint because sorry with the bands endpoint and this with the person endpoint uh, because you want this to um, to be uh, discoverable and queryable so yeah we are going to have to create the bands resource and the people resource so that's it for this video now you have a nice endpoint that you can use and uh, as you can see uh, you can just go and play with it so uh, also by default you get this ID and self which with JSON API which we are using for our response um, this is uh, just redundant because we already get the self link and the ID link just by sorry and the ID property just by using JSON API so uh, I'm also going to get rid of those ID and self Alright, no, that wasn't a good idea. Um, sorry. Um, well, I guess that uh, that makes it for, for this video. I'm gonna uh, explain to you why that happened when I removed the, the ID. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video.